Alright guys, welcome back. So today I'll be showing you how to change your crankshaft position sensor in a 2012 Iron Dye Lantra. And this is the part number right there, SU 13885. So I'm going to show you the look at that guys. So make sure to jack up the car, put it on a jack stand. As you can see I keep the jack underneath here with the stand as well. So let me get some light. So you can get one of these light at Arbor Freight guys, it's super bright. Alright, so the sensor is right here. As a sensor guys, we use a 10 bolt to hold it in. So I need to move this um, clip right here. Just to apply it to squeeze it in and push it out. And there's a connector right here. You're gonna need to um, move that connector unhook it see if we can get the light to stay one place so that it doesn't want to work with me today all right so let me see if i can unhook that wire Guys, so this bracket. All right, so all right. to get it a bit easier, I'm gonna remove this ten bolt right here, so I can get it down out the way. It's so a ten bolt right here, guys. as well all right guys so the reason why i'm changing this sensor i'm getting a code for it and before i check it i noticed it was there um it was um, running well at the stoplight i just randomly died guys and the rpm just dropped to zero before it even die, the engine die guys, so that's it. Need the light to work right here on this light, I wanna work with me. Alright, so I get it out of the hole. Tips. I want to get a squeeze in, see if I can use my finger. Alright, I'm going to get the players to uh, squeeze those clips. Alright, so I'm using this long those players, see if I can get it. Look 
wear it off. Squeeze this clip right here, pull it off. Just like that does. You just want to want to squeeze it and pull it off as well. Just like that. Oh, this light keeps giving me trouble. Pause the video for a bit and um, remove that clip. Because I've used a small screwdriver and slide it off. Push that clip in and slide it off, guys. So stay tuned. Alright, guys, so I put those wire back in place right there. You can see right there, guys. Sensor, put the clip right there. Just need to put the sensor in. Alright guys, so I'm going to have to put a little style around this seal. Alright guys, so I get back both screws in place. So I put this one right there. And I put the one for the sensor right there guys, that's it. Go guys, so that's how you change your crank shaft pollution sensor. All right, guys, that's it. So, if you find this video useful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.